Best scenes. This is Lisa Marie. Hey, ladies. I'm in my Ashanti room. Actually, uh, my brother Kojo and Kwame are here as well. So they're getting ready. To, actually, what are they getting ready? They're not getting ready. This is the old school 80s. Y'all, y'all 80s. No. But actually, they're uh, doing some little new changes around the house that I was telling you about. So I'm going to actually show more than tell right now. I just wanted to say my table to send open on as well. So let's talk about being in the Ashanti room and what it means to me. First of all, I love sitting here and I need to do it a lot more. I'm going to come to some videos definitely from the Ashanti room. All I actually need is a love seat. And as soon as I, you know, the money come in, I will get that love seat. But I do need a love seat. Like that's an imperative. That's why I got to start this website so I can live a little but uh things that i'm loving right now just in this ashanti room uh like i want to share and what's going to be happening let me tell you first what's going to happen because it already happened so here's the visuals here's the visuals so you know something is gone but there's a little wire in its place that was where the fan was but i decided to take the fan out because the fan in this room is right over mostly the plants and they are you know bent, you know the plants with the too much um too much air it's just not really working for them and uh so and i don't use this room a lot but when i do i go up and down there take things off i've hit that fan and felt like it almost took my finger off and that was a scary thought and it actually happened to Kwame or i've knocked pictures because i forgot the fan was going so it was not in a convenient space hey naturally clever it was definitely not in a convenient place on top of everything else and just because I'm not always in this room, but I would like to be in more, I thought we should have another solution. So the other solution now will be, and they'll be installing those soon, is putting hooks on the wall. And so I can actually be able to have a real live jungle, which is lots of plants in my house, to feel like a jungle type environment uh, or hanging from the walls. That's a wonderful way to not have to worry about like, oh, I want a lot of plants, but I don't have a lot of room on a table or how do I put more plants near the light? Well, one way is to hang them, suspend them in midair, and have that jungle-like feeling. Also, air purifier, which really is going to work better than the fan. So, but pray tell, what am I going to do when it gets hot in here, which it does all the time because I'm in Ghana, is I got a standing fan. So, I'm going to take the standing fan and put it in here. This way, I only have to blow it on me, and I don't have to worry about the plants being caught up in the, in the, in the you know, in the uh the aftermath of or just the the flow of air uh the plants won't have to get it i'll just get it and that's i love that's control also you know turn it off when you're done and that's it now i'm looking for i'll have to probably get it from the states or maybe i'll just have to shop around something a little sleeker in the fan family so it doesn't really look like a fan because mine really does look like a fan and i've bought the smallest one it is black or kind of black and gray, which is kind of nice because I'm bringing in those elements as you see. Oh, I'm plugged in, y'all. I'm bringing in the elements with the black and the, you know, brown light and then also the Gina Mean. And then the elements are in the Kente print, but definitely in the black of the, uh, the tablecloth as well. So those elements are coming in. But every time I sit here, like, I realize how much I absolutely love this room and I want to be in it a lot more. So yeah, we're moving things around because the brothers are fixing stuff. So the fan is now gone. They're taking this fan, which is the good fan, and putting it in the bedroom, the blue room, because that fan conked out on me a few days. I think you know about that, which is great because it was just a, a wonderful solution. But I had all these other ideas and I wish I had called them earlier because I thought about all the places to put the hooks so that I can have flowers, plants, and I can have plants in almost every room. So I'm gonna take you around the house. Uh, let this, I'm gonna let this gain some energy. I'm gonna take you around the house and show you. I just wish that I, oh my God, but you know what? Let me just see how these hooks work and then we can come back again and have them do it. But I wish that I told them to bring a whole much, lot more uh, hooks because I can say now the two bathrooms, y'all, since the window, since I don't have a rod that comes out so that the plant is not being stuck in the levelers and louvelers, I could actually have the plants hanging. You know, when I was thinking, I was in the bathroom, the, play, the room that I take a bath in, and I was just like, you know what would be so nice is that teak bench 
because it's such a relaxing bath so I'm taking it. But I'm doing like salt scrubs and, and sugar scrubs. And it'd be so nice to actually sit down and be able to do it. And the teak wood allows you to do that. You can actually let the water, pour the water on top of you and touch the, the bench and it won't hurt it. So, and even just a bench to rest because after I do all my scrubs and stuff, I then sit down right on basically the ground, the, you know, the entrance of the bathroom to put my butter on or my you know, cocoa butter, shea butter, uh, neem, whatever I'm putting on, you know, yeah, whatever I'm putting on. So I need a space to sit. But could you imagine being there and having the plants hanging from the ceiling? And it gets a lot of light in everything. It gets some good light. It gets some perfect light. So I should have bought, I think I want, I think I identified four spaces for the hooks to go to in the bathroom. Now let's talk about the toilet room. Another room that I had those uh, spider plants in and they didn't do well in there because they was crushed against the window. Wouldn't it be nice to have the two same, similar plants? This could be spider plants for sure in there. Hanging down as well, only maybe four. Make it real jungly in, the, in that small bathroom, which needs air circulation, which needs air purification, it needs all of that, and it needs the green. So I'm thinking four and four in each bathroom. And I'll get the plants over time, of course. And then my bedroom, once this fans back on and I see how it blows, I'll consider maybe having some hanging plants. But if they're gonna just move the plants around, it's okay, because the bedroom has plants in it already and it's cool, so I'm good, you know, I'm wonderful. And then still in the bath, the toilet room, I can still, what they call it, you call it the water closet? I forgot what it was, but I could still get the snake, well, at least one snake plant, I can get two actually, in the corners. Uh, so they'll grow up and then we'll have the ones meeting me down it's time to decorate with plants it's simpler it's easy and it's not bringing in a lot of stuff and it's benefiting me because y'all i'm just my 18th day raw and i've got to tell y'all this raw thing has got me all on these plants okay i'm trying to do this garden in the back if you're in my patreon i took you outside where i identified the area where i want to do the garden so just you should be doing my patreon I've, patreon i've been busy I gave you a video last night. Uh, I gave you a video this morning, a long one. I was in my little garden, and I'm showing you where my new garden is going to be. My garden is the wind, it's the it's the seal, it's the bench. I mean, it's not the bench; it's the seal. It's like a window seal, but it's not a window. It's it's not, okay, but it's my garden. God damn it, okay. Patreon's about to be. Patreon's kind of lit. Like I'm loving it. And I'm loving that I could share. Some other things that I'm going through there that I don't necessarily have to share here because I feel like it's more of a safe space there. And it don't take me out of myself and it allows me to hold my vision. And if you are not enrolled in uh, holding the vision class that's coming up November 1st, Sunday of the month of November, 21 Day Intensive, I don't know why. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. But definitely join the Patreon. You will love it. $5 level, uh, 19 37 67 150 150 level includes all these daily vlogs and also almost daily inspirational videos as well as you're already enrolled in all of the classes which are my intensives but anyway let's go back so what i'm loving on and i had showed uh the other channel but i need to show y'all hold i'm gonna plug y'all back in when we're done i want to show you how life still goes on and how amazing it is so y'all know this plant I must have on in this dumb cane because you know, it is true. I act. It was. It was. It would have did fine in the pot that I first had, but I don't know why I changed the pot, thinking I was doing the right thing. And of course, it did not really make the transition. So I cut off at least three leaves, and who knows, this one might be going down the drain too. But in all of that, but I was gonna. People say, "Oh, take it out, take it out now." It's like no spirits. Like it can acclimate in those in that nursery in those pots. It could probably acclimate in these as well if you leave it alone before you move it again. That's what just intuitively, I was thinking that they're pretty resilient plants and they can kind of live in most environments. I'm saying like for a while. So my idea was, if it's going to all die, just let it die at this point. I'll buy a new plant, and I'll give thanks for it, and I'll use the leaves to do, like, compost or something. Seriously, you know? And then I was like, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So a couple did die, and I had to cut them in a the whole bit. And I was just like, oh, the whole thing's going to die. And then, pray tell, what is this here? Is that, does my eyes deceive me, or is that a new plant? 
not this, this been here when I bought it. This right here is a new plant. How it's coming, I don't know what it's doing, how it's gonna live, but it is here. It is here, it is full, it came from here, and I suspect that others will be coming as well. So there you go, you see I cut this one, uh, what was the other one? And I do need one of those scissors. I cut this, obviously, and this. I do need one of those scissors. Shears, I think they're called, maybe? I don't know, but like pruning, pruning, pruning scissors. But I do need those. But for now, I'm going with the old-fashioned. So I'm going to let this come out and see what happens. And if more do, I'm going to definitely keep this in the pot for some time. This one, the Monstera. Uh, is I, I just sprayed it today, but it's still holding on. Like it got a little curly ends, but it's not turning brown or yellow. So I think it's gonna. I'm gonna let it acclimate too. All the ones that I switched the pot is definitely. I shouldn't know. All the ones I got the same pot I've been had. They like, hey, what's up? I'm doing good. You know what? And let me not say that because that's not. But yeah, because these that I did switch, but I did at least let them acclimate to the house in the original pots from the nursery. Uh, the, for at least two weeks. So that helped because I did these. I, I put this one I, I actually had for a while. That one too, not too long, but they didn't. This one didn't do well, but it is doing well. So let me not say that. This one here, oh, this one here uh, is doing very well. And it is in a new pot. It is in a new pot, but it's just, it's doing very well. I think it's just an probably easy plant to grow this is our newest addition to the family so say hi and i could tell we're probably gonna get another one here and then like i love that it looks like it's two plants the way it's growing so and then there's a new one coming there i just love the plant life y'all uh-huh you need what i want an extension cords okay let's see yeah you could i could take out this one and then you could take that one. Now let's see where it's connected to. I can't remember. I think it's connected to the living room. I mean, over here, right. So let me see. Okay, yeah, there's two in there, too. So somehow it's connected in there. <clears throat> yeah, because I, I, I got four, I got two extension cords in each room, y'all, because I had to, you know, I had to work it out. Good morning, Miss Jewel. So yes, y'all, new ones, there's another one down there. This one's over here. This plant grows so easy. I think it's a Chinese evergreen. Y'all let me know. Uh, this plant right here, it's, it got bent. I wonder what happens if it gets so long. Does it just naturally start to bend? I'm not sure, but you can still see it's quite healthy. This one just being greedy over here, taking up space. There is another one that's coming home. and. This one might not make it, but we'll see. And overall, I would say this plant is doing quite well. This one is the surprise one of all. This is the elephant ear that the kids didn't eat up and ate up and they took a licking and keeps on ticking. And this one, look, they ate that one. And you know, it wanted to stand it. This one, they tore it up. This is what the kids did. It's the children. The leaves are a little thin, but y'all, is that one coming in again? What? Are these plants amazing? I keep telling y'all, I've had great success with almost leaving them alone and not doing too much. Now, of course, I'm going to do all the right things for this plant when I figure out what that is and it's coming. But I wanted to show you that the two that I thought was over is not only over, it's thriving. This is a new one. This spider plant, since it came out the bathroom, it's thriving. It's thriving. I mean, I always got to cut the ends, but that's always on the spider plants. Thriving. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful plant. And the, the fern is thriving, too. I mean, because for me, that killed ferns, this is pretty looking good uh, for the fern. It's things I always have to cut, but I did that standing up because it's getting that sun. But it's thriving. It's still thriving. This is, I think this is for sure, for sure, the Chinese evergreen. And I wiped the leaves off earlier today, or this week. But this is thriving as well. I'm just looking for any new ones coming. I know this, this is a new one for sure, but I want to see more. Because growing leaves are a sign, I believe, of, you know, decent plants. I don't see any right now, but more to come. It's like, give me a chance. Okay. And then this is the ponytail palm, which... I just love touching. I think everybody does. They don't need a lot of water. 
they grow well. These are the, I heard the light ones are the newest addition to the family. I just watered them one time since I got them. I think I had them for a few weeks, and that was Sunday. And I won't water it again until another month, they say. But I like to just watch everything. Each week I check it, but maybe really every two weeks. Some I know, no, you can't put them all on the same schedule because everybody ain't the same, okay? Everybody's different. But it's a jungle. It's a jungle. So I think we went through all the... Oh, and then this is the other. So, yeah, y'all, the ones that we was all afraid for. It's like, hey, don't be scared for me. Let me do me. It's okay, and the spider doing so well. I mean, this, this spider looks the best than I ever did in any of my homes. It just, it loves the window. It's pretty. It's thriving. It's standing. It's doing very well, y'all. So I'm very excited. And then you see I got my altar, Gina Mean Peace, and the three, the family. Because even though I don't, you know, family's important. You got to have that energy in the center, in the center. So let's go with, let me see, did they, I guess they took this, oh, I wonder if this is the new one now. This is the new, or the one that fanned it from the other room to this room. We shall see. Razor, Razor Empress. Oh, so that's a YouTuber. I remember the name, and she had long natural hair. But anyway, this is Razor Empress. This really is. Is what Razor Empress like? What? What's up? I like it. So I moved her over here, and of course she ain't gonna die. She's gonna multiply because she's she's testy, and she's strong, and she got so much new growth. And she, I could tell this one never dies, but it's really sharp. And, it, and like I said, potentially dangerous. This is, I think, the same one in the other room, or at least a version of it. Look at all the new family members. Say hi. Hey, we growing. We growing. I had to cut her here and there, but I moved her. And there's another one coming. This one is the story of all stories. This is the one that Messy Jessie broke into a lot of pieces. She was full, but all that died. And now, just over the weeks, I remember y'all said, I said to us, we were going to watch this plant together. That we were going to see if this plant was coming back. This plant, look at this. Look how tall. This was a baby. Coming. Hold on one sec, y'all. We doing the, I think we're doing the, I think we're doing the star. Yes. Oh, yeah. You want to know if I like it there? Okay, let me squeeze it. Oh, don't want to hurt you. Look. Thank goodness. I'm skinny. Okay. We're going to check out. Y'all need a light? All right. All right. This is my beautiful mask that's red and yellow. Because I got a match. All right, Kwame, you want to you wanna know if it's... Now, let's see. Relative to the door. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. Oh, I love that. Let's see, dude. I want to pull it now. Could you come down a little bit on it, Kwame? Just a bit, please. A little more. A little more. All right. Yes. That's where I want it. It looks so different from the camera. But, yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And I like the way that the, yeah, where it is and the relative to everything else. And it looks good against that yellow. Thank you. That's perfect. That's perfect. Do you need a pen to, yeah. Do you need to mark it or... Is okay? Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. great. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I am. Thank you, Midasi. <laughs> <laughs> you know I speak tree? <clears throat> okay, you got it. Good. Thank you. All right. All right. So we get some more stuff. And Kojo's working on the star. The sticker star. Oh, and we can put it right on top, which is great. Yes, let's line it up and cover that old one. That looks so nice. Coach, I like it. That's the that's good. You already had your center, so you, you knew it was. Yeah, you can stick it right there. That's perfect. Thank you. Let me see if I can squeeze through. Oh, I think I can do it. Yes, I can. Thank you. Hey. Oh, so wait, that skinny's for something good. Okay, Midasi. Okay, aren't they? You always wear nice pants, always. Yay, star. Yay, uh, mask over the door. And drilling, too. But look at this one here. Look at this one. Look at her. 
what? And look at her. Like, okay, so let's watch her because I'm showing you proof. So those on the side was like these. Let's watch these and watch them grow. This one I have not taken. This is a palm that grows hugely. You can't see the depth of what this palm is going to look like, but it is so serious. Now, what I'm looking for is any new ones because, you know. But let me tell you about this palm. No, that's not quite a new one. Remember, I had it in the plastic, and this is the, what I was going to change it to. Spirit told me, keep it in there for another week. It's the same thing because this is the pot in the sense that it came in the nursery. Let it acclimate. And this one is working because I know this is not dying. It's not yellowing. It's not yellow. It's not browning. It's just doing. And I'm going to tell you why I say what I just said because I did that too fast thing, got, the, got this uh, ZZ plant. And if you notice, and I had to cut a piece off, all of this is yellowing. This is yellowing, and I didn't put a lot of water because I know they don't need a lot of water. This is the transferring, I'm sure, but like the other ones, I'm going to let it do what it do. I think this one's going to be fine, this part, but I don't know about the rest. So I'm going to let it do what it do because a small piece that I had to break off right here was totally yellow. So this yellow again, so this means not enough, wait. That too much brown is what? Too not enough water? Yellow is too much water. So I'll have to just see. But I'm gonna I think I know what it is. It's the transferring so quickly. So but I know ZZ plants. Well, I don't know ZZ plants, but I'm figuring that ZZ plants are going to fix themselves and that ZZ plants don't need a lot. And that people say they hard to kill. So I'm gonna go with that and just let it be. I'm learning now. Sometimes the best thing to do, especially with plants, but maybe with life too, is do nothing. And then this one is, I call it marvelous. I didn't, it took two weeks before I, I uh, watered it and I could see it, it went a little further than I wanted it to. And I gotta cut these, but, because this is the new one trying to come in and I think it was just too dried. So I gotta cut that off and it's not open yet, but I just watered it today. I think I went too far with this one or at least should have watered it on Sunday. That would have been the second week. So I gotta cut that stuff off and Oh, is, is that another one? Oh, no, that's the same one. But, yeah, I think it, it wasn't having enough water to me. So I now learn about this pat, this thing. And like I said, I want that to open, but I gave it a hard time. So I watered it today. But there's a lot of, uh, and I got to get inside and see and make sure that everybody's happy down there. But still and all, she's still thriving. Just making sure that I either I do one every week maybe every two weeks we'll see but make sure i'm on the schedule with her because she's showing signs of dehydration so especially when that didn't open well in this brown and i think she needs some love so this is my intuitive i am not a plant expert i just am a mom a mom oh wait there's another one big as can be she's doing well let's say she's doing well okay let's go to the last one I love this one. Is that a new one? Let me see. Are you new? I don't know. She might be. But she's beautiful and she's doing great. She's easy. She's not hard. This is the newest addition. She's super easy. She, she, yeah, she's easy. That's all I can say about her. I think this is a Chinese evergreen. I'm going to call everything a Chinese evergreen because everything can't be, but in my life right now, it is. Oh, yes. So yeah, that's my life. So let's go outside. Let me show you my food plants. And then, so really, she probably really, they all need to be out there in that sun and they should get the day sunlight, but I don't really like to leave them down there. It's just not really smart uh, for a lot of reasons. Because anyway, this has proved to be better. But if you notice, First of all, this is the uh, celery, celery, and this is the parsley new edition. I bought this on Monday. This is the mint. This is the basil. This basil, you see how it's moving out because it's trying to get that sun. That's how I know it wants it. This one also is trying to get the sun. This one is going out the pot. I know, I know, the gnats. The gnats might be because I put banana peels in here that I realized that you know, banana peels are supposed to give it that potassium, I guess a little bit of nitro nitrogen, 
but I decided that that's not a good idea here. So I'm taking these banana peels out because um, it's gonna attract bugs and I'm already sharing my space with the neighbors and it's gonna attract bugs. I already know, so I tried to go back in all of these and take them out and I got enough because I can see the gnats coming and I don't want that to be happening. Is this a weed? And that's definitely a lettuce, but this looks like a weed. We'll have to see. And that's another lettuce growing. But this one is already out the pot. That's why I know I gotta I got to build, get the garden going in the back. So I'm just gonna look for the banana leaves and take them out. So I I read there's something else you can do instead. There's the banana leaves. No. But something else I can do instead um, with the banana leaves is, oh, this is one too, huh? I'm trying to get them out because they're catching the bugs here. Here's the, is, uh, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I could actually put them in all banana leaves and it's attracting the ants, just like they said. I can put them in a jar of water and then use or puree, puree it too, put it in a jar of water and then use the water, banana water, to spray it as a natural fertilizer instead of doing it with the peels. And like I said, I would, if I had a garden, I would do the peels. See, I see the bugs attracting and coming in, and I don't want that. And I don't want my neighbors saying, oh no, we got these plants and we're attracting stuff. I see, and I'm trying to be a good neighbor. So I'm taking all of the peels out. That's what I'm doing right now with y'all. I put a lot in and I was like, damn, I should have thought about it. Because I kept thinking, wait, bananas, look at all that that was not here before. And they're not going to be happy. So I got a little bit to lie. I'm going to have my own. This is what we're looking like. So I'm getting rid of all those peels right now with y'all. Hope you don't mind garden stuff. But I don't need, and look at the little mints. All are growing. More are growing. But the gnats, they were not here. And I'm telling you, that's right near their house. And nobody got time for that. So I'm not going to do that to anybody. Here's another one. So now that I put them in, I feel so bad. It's like, oh, no, I put them in. Now I got to take them out. I got to take them all out. So that is what I am doing. But like I said, you know, because we're not going to have that. I don't want that. I really don't. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. People be waiting for stuff, y'all. So we don't need to have that. So I am taking this out. This looks like a weed. I'm taking this out. And uh, so, yeah. I, oh, he finished with everything. Okay. All right. I'm coming. Coming as soon as I take these banana peels out of here. And already the gnats is like, oh, we don't have nowhere to play. No, mother effers. Okay, I'm sorry. No cussing. The kids could be watching. We're taking all them pills out. No. And this one. Oh, it smells so good up in here, though. We got a lot. So, you know, it's got some pills in there. Where are the peels? Peels got to go. Oh, damn it. I got too many. See all these gnats. And I know I got some. So, yeah, any uh, suggestions on the peels, let me know. But I did read that you can spray it instead. Or when you plant it, I got big ones. Oh, my gosh. When you plant it, you could um, put the peels deeper inside. And I think that might eliminate some of this mushy, mushy, gnat-filled. Because they was not having gnats before. But that's the bananas. Here's some more. Oh, damn it, I missed so many. I'm so upset. Why did I do it? Because that man told me to, but he didn't know my living situation. He had no idea. He had no idea that I can't do this here. But I listened. So anyway, you're probably laughing like she is tripping, but no. Y'all, when you got neighbors, mm, life is different. All right. Uh, I still see more, and, and the gnats come in. That means they come in, too. Okay, that means I got more banana peels that I'm about to get rid of. But you know what this does do? It connects me to my plant, and I really like that. All right, ladies. Anyway, I'm going to play a little here and get rid of some more banana peels and then just soak them. And I see the gnats have mysteriously disappeared. Like, it's not so mysterious. We know what happened here. So, yeah, I'm here too and make sure... I get rid of them. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for watching. 
I'm going to go, you know, do what I got to do with the men. And I, I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, blessed one. Let me just see y'all. Hey, Naturally Clever, I will be playing musical cheers in that house, basically just to sit in the beauty of each room. Oh, yes, thank you. Life will lovely. Grand Rises, Marie, the hanging plants are going to look, oh, they're going to look fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. To become a Patreon member, please do. Miss Jewel Rosa, good morning to you. You might be getting a flower on the dumb cane. They're not dramatic, but unusual looking. Good morning. Thank you. That'd be nice. Hey, Tracy, Grand Rising. His shorts are nice, aren't they? Black Star, yes. All right, ladies, I'm going to move out, but I'll see you in the next video. Love you, ladies. Peace.